Alright guys, fucking Dave here again for uh, another episode of Take 5 or whatever. Uh, let's get started. I got a new tote this time. Not going to use the one I used in the last set of videos. I'll have to go back to that one and this one, but I'm just trying to switch it up. Keep it a little interesting. Make sure we don't get any doubles. So, Alright, first pick. Yeti. Um, notice that price tag there. Uh... From the Man Eater series. I don't remember much about it. I think I remember really shitty CG uh, Abominable Snowmen. Um, so, yeah, if I can't remember anything about it, probably wasn't that good to begin with. So, let's just move along here. Do -do -do. Dead Rising Watchtower. Let me tell you, the video games are good. This, and there's a sequel, or one that came before this, or something. They have nothing to do with the video games at all. I mean, they... They throw some very slight references in there, but really nothing like the video games at all. Just complete, cliche, generic-ass zombie movie. Just... An embarrassment. If you love the video games, don't don't even out of morbid morbid curiosity fucking even bother. Uh, the pack. Packs of wild dogs controlling the major cities. Um, I think I remember this one being all right. Uh, you don't get too many killer dog movies, uh, which is a good thing, really, because one. I, I hate to see dogs or any animal really get hurt uh, in movies, whether it's fake or not. Uh, it just upsets me. And it's like, yeah, a guy is getting eaten to death by a fucking dog. I feel like he should just let the dog eat him to death. Because then he kills the dog, and I still just feel sorry for the dog. So, um, like I said, there's, there's no actual uh, animal violence in here. It's all simulated or fake as hell, but... Honestly, I don't remember too much about it, but I think I remember it being okay. So, take that however you want. Let's see. Alright, you're next. Another big, uh, another one that's going to get me in trouble. A lot of people love that movie. Uh, the directors went on to do The Guest, and I love The Guest. That's one of my favorite movies now. You're next. I was just really disappointed. It was promoted as a slasher, and it's really not. Um, short way into the movie, it takes a turn, and then it just becomes something else. And that something else I wasn't really thrilled with. I didn't find entertaining. I was just kind of bored by it. So, yep. Probably going to get a lot of shit from that one. Probably from you, Mitch King, giving me shit all the time just because you like everything. But I love you anyway. Uh, Pet Cemetery 1 and 2 for the fifth one here. So many of these goddamn double packs and multi packs. Um, hated the remake. Everything about it. The original is still just okay. I was never a huge fan of it. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Pet Cemetery 2 is one of those sequels that surpasses the original by just being as bad and dumb as it can. And, uh, yeah, so that one I'll always enjoy. Clancy Brown <laughs> steals the whole fucking movie, like every movie that he's in. Uh, so, yeah. If you haven't seen those, where the fuck have you been? Otherwise, go see them. And, uh, watch the remake if you want. Some people liked it. I just found it just bad. Just bad. All right, guys, um, I'm probably going to record a whole bunch of these, so prepare for multiple uploads. Watch them however you want, how many you want in a row. That's why I'm trying to make these separate short videos so you don't have to just sit there and watch one long thing. So, all right, let's go on to the next one.